The scarcity of freshwater poses a significant global challenge for humanity. Each year, this pressing issue becomes increasingly acute as only a mere 3% of the Earth's water is suitable for consumption. Moreover, the majority of this potable water remains essentially inaccessible, trapped within glaciers. Merely less than half of 1% of Earth's water supply constitutes drinkable water, which must be divided among the 7 billion individuals inhabiting our planet. Yet, what if we could transform the world's oceans into a source of fresh, drinkable water? Contemplating such a notion compels us to confront the stark realities that lie ahead. The potential impact of this transformative shift is akin to an information tsunami, the magnitude of which is hard to fathom. However, understanding the origins of the ocean's salinity allows us to appreciate the complexity of this matter. Nearly 4 billion years ago, our planet's surface water was completely fresh. However, volcanic eruptions disgorged vast quantities of magma and hot gases into the atmosphere. As a result, a chemical amalgamation of chlorine, fluorine, bromine, and other compounds descended upon the ocean waters in the form of acid rain. This corrosive precipitation eroded the crystalline rocks of Earth's crust, thereby releasing magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Consequently, chemical reactions with solid land and rocks commenced, leading to the formation of salts. Today, the oceans harbor an overwhelming abundance of salt. If we were to distribute the salt evenly across all terrestrial landmasses, the resulting layer would tower as high as a 40-story building. However, let us momentarily reverse time and visualize a serene scene at the ocean's edge. Picture a sandy beach, the sun's warmth caressing your skin, and mesmerizing turquoise waves gently lapping against the shore. Feeling parched, you scoop up a handful of water into your palms, savoring the taste of crystal-clear refreshment. What if this idyllic fantasy could manifest into reality? Regrettably, the consequences of such a transformation are far from ideal. Approximately 22,000 fish species rely on both saltwater and freshwater environments. Salmon, sturgeon, striped bass, and other fish typically inhabit the sea, possessing a protective outer layer that impedes salt penetration. However, to reproduce, these fish must traverse rivers. In contrast, the majority of marine life thrives solely in saltwater habitats, accounting for a staggering 230,000 known species, with an additional 2 million species yet to be discovered. The tissues of marine animals are rich in salt content. Should they be exposed to freshwater, the salt within their tissues would leach out, causing irreversible damage and ultimately leading to their demise. Consequently, the intricate food chain would collapse, depriving mankind of a crucial source of nutrition. Additionally, those whose livelihoods depend heavily on fishing, an estimated 700 million people would face dire consequences, potentially condemning them to hunger, poverty, and even death. The ramifications of desalinating the oceans extend beyond the animal kingdom to impact plant life as well. Underwater algae, fundamental to the process of photosynthesis, play an indispensable role in oxygen production. When exposed to fresh water, these algae perish, resulting in diminished oxygen levels on our planet. Moreover, the depletion of plant life disrupts the entire food chain, as most plants would simply cease to exist. Consequently, the greenhouse effect intensifies, causing a rise in global temperatures and irreparably altering our world. Forebodingly, such drastic changes would unleash climate shocks, with hurricanes, tornadoes, and typhoons becoming commonplace occurrences. The resulting climatic shifts would render the planet unrecognizable. In the southern regions, people would endure freezing temperatures, while in the north, they would be plagued by oppressive heat. Moreover, the alteration in water density due to decreased salinity would inevitably trigger unprecedented earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. As freshwater is less dense, the Arctic ice sheet would sink 10 centimeters into the water, unleashing a colossal tidal wave that would engulf the land. Alas, humanity would likely endure these natural disasters for only a fleeting period. The scarcity of freshwater is a critical global issue of paramount concern. Despite the tantalizing notion of transforming the oceans into drinkable water, the far-reaching consequences must be soberly acknowledged. The delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems, intricate food chains, and atmospheric stability would be irreversibly disrupted. The unimaginable toll on human life would be compounded by catastrophic natural disasters, forever altering the world as we know it. It is highly probable that humanity's existence on this planet will be significantly limited once we surpass the initial stages, a time when the world will be devoid of plant life, marine inhabitants, and plagued by climate change. While this may seem like a distant possibility, the process of global warming has already commenced. Scientists have expressed concerns that the desalination of the Atlantic Ocean could alter its currents, causing cold water to migrate towards the equatorial region while warm water rushes towards the poles. 
This unfortunate scenario would further accelerate the melting of glaciers, resulting in drastic shifts in atmospheric conditions and transforming traditionally cold regions into hot zones. The continuity of such climatic changes remains uncertain as scientists have yet to determine the likelihood of this scenario. However, Professor Stefan Romstorff from the University of Potsdam compares this potential outcome to the threat posed by a nuclear explosion. Even if the probability of this occurring stands at a mere 5%, it serves as a resounding alarm bell. Alarming trends are already evident in the southern ocean surrounding Antarctica, where freshwater dilution is already underway. In the 1970s, satellites recorded an extensive unfrozen area in the ice of the Weddell Sea, equivalent in size to that of New Zealand. Unfortunately, this phenomenon has not reoccurred, despite extensive measurements collected from ships and autonomous ocean robots floats over a span of 60 years. Research findings indicate that since 1950, the surface of the ocean has gradually become less saline. This layer of fresh water on the ocean's surface hinders mixing with the warmer water below, impeding the rise of heat from the ocean's depths, which, in turn, would melt the winter ice of Antarctica. Consequently, this ice-free polymnia observed in the Southern Ocean may have been the last of its kind. Although desalinating the world's entire ocean appears improbable, it might be plausible to obtain controlled volumes of fresh water from the sea. However, the desalination of seawater remains an expensive endeavor, despite various existing technologies such as distillation and reverse osmosis. These methods demand substantial electricity consumption and are susceptible to rapid system clogging, rendering them unusable. Moreover, these desalination plants inadvertently capture marine life, resulting in the death of over 3 billion fish and other organisms annually. Additionally, the concentrated waste generated during desalination adversely impacts marine flora and fauna. Nevertheless, scientists persistently strive to enhance this technology. In 2017, British scientists introduced the world's first graphene desalination filter, offering a more efficient alternative to existing devices. Subsequently, in 2018, chemists from Texas and two Australian universities proposed a groundbreaking technological process employing organometallic frame membranes, capable of producing fresh water with minimal energy consumption and maximum efficiency. Canadian and Australian scientists have even explored the possibility of solar energy utilization for seawater desalination. Canadian researchers demonstrated that a mere one kilowatt of electricity combined with seawater and a shallow artificial pond with a black bottom could produce fresh water. Similarly, their Australian counterparts developed a novel device featuring a disc with a filter paper surface embedded with special carbon nanotubes. This device employs fine cotton threads to absorb salt water, crystallize salt at the edges, and collect fresh water at the center. The accumulated salt is subsequently removed, ensuring an uninterrupted desalination process with nearly 100% efficiency. While recent advancements in desalination technology show promise, their effectiveness on an industrial scale remains to be seen. If successful, these innovations could potentially resolve the pressing issue of freshwater scarcity. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that uncontrolled desalination could yield incredibly undesirable consequences, jeopardizing the delicate balance of our oceans. It is imperative that we prioritize the preservation and responsible management of our current water supplies. By doing so, we can ensure a future where our descendants need not fret over the availability of drinking water or suffer from unquenchable thirst. Please comment for the next video you want me to research and do subscribe to my channel for more information videos about life-innocent questions.